Rig of uh, Todd, North Carolina, right now, 28684, originally from the 28607. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on on face. I mean, on Facebook and C-SPAN right now, and on the in the three houses and branches of government. Now, tax reform is very possible at this point. It is 2015. Insurance has been destroyed through Barack Obama's uh, Obamacare or Health, Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, so, insurance has always been a scam. But way. 20 years before Obama, uh, you have to buy layers. You got to buy auto, health, uh, home, uh, all kinds of different layers of insurances. And uh, you really don't get securities unless you deal with the third parties, which is the attorneys. Okay. And, uh, and we don't have equality in 2015 because now uh, a heterosexual people cannot have the institution of marriage formed for a religious ceremony without the courts and the government against the constitution ruling that it is ruling access to the holy institution of marriage between a man and a woman to a, homoso a homosexual crew this and, and 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 that's taking away the freedom of the heterosexual people to form their religion and their institution in the Jewish and Christian and Catholic faiths. Those are where marriage came in. It never came in with any homosexuality. Homosexuality literally is impossible to have a heritage. Uh, other than uh, 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 blips on the radar, I don't know. But there should, I, I don't know. But it's not their institution. It is the heterosexuals' institution. Period. Now the taxes and, and the insurances uh, and the borders. They're wanting to build a fence. We just got and took down the Nazi the Nazi wall. In the 80s, I think 87, wasn't it? I don't know uh, for sure. But I watched that, and uh, we can't do that. We're not Nazis, okay? We're not a police state. We What we do need is a way to integrate them borders and all these little countries all over the world that are in chaos all the time. We need to find a way to integrate them into a civil order with civil rules and civil authority. Okay? And Cuba and all them with the drug trade, we need to integrate that back into civil society, open up all those resources that are dangerous to go after. <coughs> Who actually has been preserved through the a little bit of the War on drugs, war on drugs, war on drugs only popularizes and enables minors and young people to have access. If it was in the liquor store or in the drug store or if adults in this day and age had the opportunity to have a real expectation of they're going to get a self-authority to be able to regulate what they do, maybe at a little older age now, instead of 21, it ought to be about 23, 25. If you're going to stay in school, in college, and take grant money, and, 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 and study, and not go get a job, and have them educate you, uh, you shouldn't be able to have any illicit subject, su substances, all the way down to wine and beer. Okay, now, as a de defense on such overwhelming authority... On adolescence, you should get the right to vote at 15. You should get the right to go ahead and fall in love with your first crush and find accommodations at one or the other families or even on your own at the next college level. 15 should be college. Not wait till they're 25 and pickled off a of liquor to let them take a job. Because I'm not going to hire them after they spend all their time in college drinking and partying unless they're awesomely proficient at their 
subject matter. Now let's see. Now the tax system and integrating the borders and not building a fence. We can do this if we just start putting the delegating the funds to the where. Okay, you got a flat sales tax. You take the money in. Within the circumference, all the utilities come priority out of that tax money, right? And then you got nice roads outside. That's where you want to do your business, where you got the nice utilities where the taxes are actually paying for it. Okay, now you got a circumference, so you drop it into the utilities, whatever mandates the quality of the utilities, such as the road, the police. The police are basically maintaining the sales tax because they have to be sure everybody appropriates their funds properly so we don't have these roads that we have today, 2015. And all of 2014, we had this still appellation. All of 2013, almost all the roads are under dilapidated circumstances. But anyhow, we take up the money there. Then, after we figure out what it takes to get the utilities and keep them up right there where the snow and ice and stuff destroys them, if then we put one little penny for the common, or maybe two little pennies, for the common investments that pays dividends for our future and our retirement as citizens of, of this time period. Okay, not... Okay, that's all that's pretty much to it. When all we have to do is find out what the, the, there does need to be a general fund for retirement. And last and not but least, if we go ahead and get a general job to do, such as send our drones to mine Venus, to build a big old round ball that when it's Spins and it's got liquid in it, and then it, you put the cargo in the center because it's all time spinning and it never stops. You put the cargo in the center, and then it works its way out, and then it. Now I believe that would get it into orbit, and then I believe from there another one can retrieve it and send it in whichever direction it's going: Venus, Mars. Which way to the next platform? And and we get these materials from space to build these things. I think I think we need to just focus on drone mining of the moon enough to get a foundry enough to set up one city one city and it is just a it don't need to be maybe one little motel and and, and a Harris casino right here and in the greenhouse and a military complex no greater than what thousand people two thousand people I don't know ten thousand that sounds like a big city to me because I know what we are here on in, in Boone here or what we were and what we are now so I'm gonna, I don't know size of a battleship whatever's on whatever's on an aircraft carrier we need to have that facility on the moon and and lock it down right there you know and then allocate the proper for any kind of launch mechanism and receiving landing strip you know we got a box that can generate a little power off a little bit just put a flywheel on it set it like a grandfather clock some gun will run all day he hadn't even thought about putting in a grandfather clock i don't think i don't have the money to buy it i'd be showing you right now there's machines out here that take nothing and make something and i'm all about putting a little bit more on if it takes nothing to get something that's where i'm going to delegate my something Okay, when I get a chance. Because, I mean, if nothing can get something, something's going to get, I don't know, but there's a lot of good electricity out there and, and, and schemes just to keep things powered. We should be able to do something pretty cool, like get rid of all the utility lines, then start figuring out our uh, flock drive and stuff for our cell phones to take us back and forth to transit. Okay, and then we'll just eliminate the roads, but we need to pave them one more good time. We need to hit it one more time. These interstates, and, and it, start, we need the surface treatment on everything. And uh, it needs to be not to the lowest bidder that to get it done because this stuff needs to last. There's Roman, Roman roads that were uh, still placed, you know. If we had rocks that were 
huge like this, you know, I don't know. But we can do better. We need a good surface treatment and good integrated borders so civil society can, can spread. And we can go to Mexico and work in the winter. I'd love to travel around the world and see you all, but you all are too crazy out there. You don't have the right to bear guns. You need the right to bear guns. If they're an ally with the United States, their citizens, each and every one of them, should either get a little twenty-two, or, uh, I don't know, they should have the right to bear arms. Every single person in the planet ought to have the right to bear arms. But, that's another story. We're going to focus on us, the United States and their allies. Now, our allies ought to have the right to bear guns. England, everybody there ought to have the right to bear guns. France, everybody, anybody that's our allies, if they don't have the uh, a right to bear arms and free speech, <coughs> hold it. They can't be our allies because that's not what we're about. All right? That's how where we stop. And all these trade, we do need to insource a little bit, but just to get ourselves propelled to orient ourselves with NASA and make some gains... To make the other communities around the world hungry to follow us into our joint effort to retrieve dividends for the citizens into space with our mining techniques and everything. And then, you know, we, we bound to be able to do so much. We should be able to make a, with this technology today, we should be able to make a foundry in a, on, on one of the uh, ice shelves on the moon because hydrogen and Ice is pretty well everywhere, and yes, that's going to propel us after we get off this rock. we got to stop burning down here on the lower levels uh, with all these petro extra chemicals. Firewood, we're going to have to have it. We already got too much underbrush up here. It's a wonder that we didn't burn up a few years ago in my area. And, and, and I will get you some... Uh, bulldozers out there if i mean why do y'all let your houses burn up you can't pump water and you cannot let a uh, you can't run a bulldozer around your house every now and then and get rid of the brush can't mow your yard keep the fires down you deserve no compensation uh let's see i mean you know i mean it's not so hot your houses are combusting because it's hot. It's because there's brush around them. Okay. But anyhow, there's some things, man. I really want to say I want this out here. I want this tax system because I want civil order with our allies. I want the war on drugs to be facilitated from the pharmaceutical end and get us some real liberties. I want just nice civil order that defies boundaries with all the internet somebody can rip us up be constantly hacking at us across the ocean and we can't prosecute them uh not execute them but just get retribution from them in some way all right you know well here's something if if you're going to send uh drug offenders to jail still after this don't send them in there with violent offenders okay don't put them in where people have killed and bully and intimidation as a daily routine because we don't want them intimidators to teach the uh, 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 the unfortunate use how to be thugs, and that's what you get, you know, oh, well, I'm a thug life sometimes, but you can't just be bullying like all these public entities seem to endorse. I've uh, not had much of a lifespan using the facility, but y'all endorse the, basically the bow of the planet and if somebody has a legitimate grievance you just sweep it under the carpet our representatives are the prime example of sweeping things under the carpet it's like you gotta only the concerned party rule 
uh, it is mob rule, but it is mob rule because only a concerned party of a bill will bring it to the floor, will allow it to the floor. Only a concerned party will pass it. And now we have to have verification from three concerned parties at a time that Well, we got what we got. We got bad roads. We got a lot of work to do on the educational system like this right here. We need to take and start from 7 o'clock in the morning, daylight, to daylight in the wintertime. The parents are only allowed to use that facility for their children eight hours a day. A minimum of a four-hour shift. Okay. No, you know, you can, or, yeah, I mean, you know, if I only got four hours, that's a long time, but that is about the minimum. You got to be able to achieve something. You got to be able to really work at something. Now, uh, well, I don't know. Six hours really is what you need, I guess, because you want to go through a whole work, hunger, work, Hunger, work, home. You know, you have a full regimen, I guess. But, but six hours. If if the school's only going to run six hours, and then you have to go to this other entity to get an injection, or you have to deal with a, another party at the same facility for extended time. I don't know. It should just be from day, seven o'clock to six o'clock in the winter time. Uh, absolutely no. I mean, five days a week. Drop the kid off at, at uh, seven. All right, you pick him up at what, two? Oh, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. Uh, three. All right, you pick him up at three, seven to three. That's about what they're spending on the bus anyhow. But we could actually drop them off. But still offer that one return trip at the same time as it is today. Uh, maybe adjust it an hour out. It depends on what popular demand is. But, you know, we could do a lot more if we had a little bit more flexibility and less mandate on the educational regiment daily. Uh, this is a 20 minute video. Wow. You want to be. Uh, I'm just getting all this out. I'm about to maybe lose my internet. I don't know. It depends on how the loan, the bank feels. <laughs> Keep me going. Lord knows I haven't worked. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to find a, you got to deal with a separate entity for snow day uh, 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 accommodations if you're in the school system. Uh, so that's three parties I have to deal with to get the regiment of one facility and. Guess what? All three parties inhabit the same facility. So you're charging somebody three times for, uh, I'm going to take them off of after school, matter of fact, today because I can't maintain that schedule. It just ain't working. And, uh, I mean, it, there ain't no sense in it. It's not progressively helping me. It's I mean, it's just more, I don't know, it's just, I give a hundred bucks and the next day they had a snow day. The, oh, well, I make it up a hundred buck day these days after the crash of 08 is uh, very, very rare. As a matter of fact, uh, as a single parent, it's impossible. I cannot imagine anybody that hadn't been a hundred percent covered. I mean, you know, I had a house. I, 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 I lived on the street for many years. But now I have a house, so I don't have to worry about rent or mortgage. But it is a tight belt trying to raise a child. <clears throat> and that's why it's just, it's just impossible. 
I don't know how these mothers do it, and I know why all the stress comes from in between these uh, civil disorders. Well, I'm not going to touch on personals, so that's my overall thing. Thank you. Have a good day, and this is David Aaron Grigg of Boone, North Carolina. Have a good day.